Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. With Bitcoin, um, well, since the last video, we've just pre purely seen sideways consolidation, basically. Uh, I did highlight to you that we had only so far three waves to the upside of this week's low. That indicates um, that there is still significant downside pressure yeah, and it needs that five wave move to the upside to um, indicate that we have bottomed here in this local correction this week you now on monday basically so off the monday low we only have three waves up i wanted to count with you in this video the microstructure of that move to the upside um, to offer a bit of education elliott wave education and um, also to yeah just to show you where we are really and what the relevant support levels are at the moment um it's quite clear that um, there is some bullish action here today, impulsive action, but we don't have the five waves up. So just a very quick recap. We've got here a possible five wave move up of the 10th of March low so that we can count this as a wave one. It's either a larger wave one or a one, two, one, two setup. It doesn't make a great difference in the short term. Yeah, um, I did explain all that in previous videos. The thing is that against 21,557, the trend is clearly up. That is the relevant support. We have local support above that, but this is really the key threshold for this larger one, two setup. And then it's all about, you know, this correction was very shallow. We possibly could have bottomed here on Monday, but so far, because the move down looks a bit incomplete, I'm still watching for a possible new low. That doesn't have to mean it, have, it has to happen, but it just means that to believe that we're breaking out already, because we only had such a shallow correction, to believe that we already break out, I need to see five waves up, one, two, three, four, five, so one more high missing, and I need to see a three wave move down. That's basically what I need to see. Five up and then a higher low on, on the move down. Um, because five waves up alone, yes, it increases probabilities that we are heading to the upside, but not massively. I need to see the three waves down. Why do the five up not are not sufficient? Well, basically because I can count this correction here as an A, B, C. And the B wave consists of again, A, B, C. And this C wave is a five wave move. So just having a C wave, um, just having five up could just mean it's a C wave and it makes a new low. So I need to see five up and three down. Okay, so I hope that's clear i did explain all that in more detail in the previous videos if we now go to the 30 minute chart to really count the subwave structure here to give us an orientation of where we are um, i would start down here at this week's low obviously i'm counting that as a b wave down at the moment um, again it could it um it could be the low of this wave too yeah and we could rally already impulsively or it's just a c wave up Again, that does, that's not so important. We first need to see, to focus here on higher short term. What you know, where are we actually in the structure? I need to see five up to believe that we've bottomed in the first place. So, at the moment, we have only three. Why do we only have three waves? Okay, so my view is. Let me just put that onto the chart. Um, I would count this here as a wave one, and then we had here a wave two with this swing low on Tuesday and basically then we are probably looking at this this and this right so let me change that probably like that right so it looks to me if I'm counting this So that, that's, by the way, the dog in the background, <laughs> if you hear that. So, I mean, I have to count this as a one, two, right? Um, and then I would say at least here, another one, two setup. And one, two, and then it's one, two, three, four. See, actually, there's quite a bit missing to complete here an impulse. If, I mean, don't get me wrong, we're doing some micro counting here. We're putting here a roadmap together. Um, the, these can change. This is really on the lower time frame, but 
there's quite a bit of choppy price action in there. So at the moment it looks like we had a one, two, one, two. This wave three of three is still ongoing actually. Um, at least if I'm looking at the subwave structure. Now you always need to remember subwave counting here on these time frames. It is to a degree unreliable, but um, it's the best we've got here if we want to understand the lower time frame. So this is sort of what I have, right? So it indicates to get really five waves up, I would need to see continuation to the upside to fill out the yellow three, the yellow four, the yellow five, then to fill out circle, yellow three, four and five. Now don't, don't think this necessarily has to happen, but this would be the ideal structure, how I would like it to unfold to the upside. So the idea is now, okay, this is possibly a way four here at the moment. It makes sense. It's just moving sideways. So for further continuation to the upside, what is the level it needs to hold? Because if it drops below a certain level, it will make this way four unreliable. Well, it needs to hold 27,880. That's the 50% retracement. If I'm looking at the way four retracements, then you can see we basically did run into the area between the 38.2 and the 23.6 FIP level. We're currently reacting very well to the 23.6 FIP at 28,287. Here, I mean, this is now really a, just a subway structure. It looks like we're really only halfway there if we want to get five waves up, um, even if it's a high B wave. So don't, don't, um, yeah, I mean, don't treat this as it has to happen, but it's an idea for a roadmap um, to get the five up. Obviously, if it doesn't even get the five, then no, it could easily still break down. Um, but yeah, the, you, you should now know about the levels that need to hold for further continuation in this particular structure. Um, but yeah, mainly showing this because not too much is going on on the higher time frame. And it's for me still the case that against 21,550, the trend is clearly up. And just know that even though this all looks quite bullish at the moment, um, we still need to be ready that this could just be a let's call it a small bull trap yeah but not really a bull trap in the sense of you know it's it's a massive bull trap this is if this comes down again it might just mean maybe one more low here in this structure while still possibly holding the the support area so for me the trend is still up i would be extremely careful with short trades at all in the crypto market been saying that for weeks um and i think so far this warning was correct um now again it always depends on which time frame you're trading but yeah, that's sort of the situation. That's sort of what um, we can look at on the micro level. Hope you liked the update about Bitcoin. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.